lot of times you don't get anything done not just because you didn't write any goals down or you didn't have anything planned, but because you tried. Big share size, and it's 32 ounces of coffee. It smells like mud. <laughs> so it smells like mud. <laughs> it's probably delicious. But Take a sip. Let's see how it is. Honestly, like poop. All right, update. I don't know if you guys saw Brandy's face when she took a sip of the other one. <laughs> it um, wasn't the flavor we were expecting. And I'll be honest, I'm not on a, I'm not super picky. I actually really like coffee and, and like all the flavors sorts, and everything. Yeah, and all different types of coffee. But it was just we just talked with the guy that I don't know if he's the owner or something. But I guess it was a really earthy. Coffee, so we know now to stay away from those ones. Stay away because, yeah, we love coffee. We're coffee connoisseurs. We always love trying new beans. That one to her, she said, tasted like butt, dirt. It tasted like a black olive to me, like a straight up black olive, as if they had liquefied it and put it into a coffee. I don't know, it tasted not my favorite. <laughs> so, um, so we just got regular. The same coffee we got last time we were here, which we should have just done in the first place. Yeah. So. But. Now we're here, and it's delicious. So, <laughs> now we're back on. So besides just joining us for our coffee shop adventures, we actually thought we would talk about something today, specifically relating to preparing for the new year and figuring out what you want to accomplish. So. So there is this thing by Warren Buffett. I'll actually put a link to an article about it, but what Warren Buffett talks about doing, it's like this five out of 25 rule. Don't mind draw. I'm my coffee. I'm just in the middle of filming. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, but essentially what he does is write down 25 things you want to accomplish or 25 goals. They can be really little things or really achievable things, or they can be bigger ones that are going to take a, you know, a longer period of time to accomplish. They can be about your career, they can be relationship, they can be health, yep. anything. And they're supposed to be ordered in the level of importance. So the top of the list is the most important items down to the least yeah. important. So what I always say is just write 25 and then order them because it's you're not, my, my order changes. So I right. just say get the 25 out and then you can like number them in the order of like what you want to achieve. And then after you get to, after you get all of them ordered, you pick the top five things that you want to do. I say the top three because my brain can't focus on five things or can't even think about five things. Yep. Um, but it says, you know, take the top three or take the top five things and, and then get rid of the rest until you complete those, you know, three or five things. Absolutely. So I just did this. And which is really good. And I was going to say is a lot of times you don't get anything done, not just because you didn't write any goals down or you didn't have any anything planned, but because you tried to do too many things or you didn't define them or clearly plan them enough. And so those are two culprits of you not being able to accomplish what you want to accomplish in this coming year. So it's really it's, important to remember. And that's the whole point of like eliminating the other 20 or 22 on that list and only focusing on the top ones. Yeah, and maybe you only want to focus on two things. You right. know, it really just depends, or maybe you're somebody who can multitask better than others. I'm not one of them. Nobody is. Um, I, like, I even have this notebook, uh, which I think I showed you guys before. I'll put a, there's actually a link in the description to these, but essentially what it does for me is that you go through and you take this like test and then it gives you like a planner that's supposed to be like for the way you think or how your brain works or something. And for me, it literally on there has like the top three things I need to focus on for that day because clearly I, I can only focus on three things. And so I'll put my top three things and then once I'm done with those, I'll put the next top three things. I really do think there's something behind that though, even just for almost anybody. A lot of times people don't get super into this to-do list type mode and they'll put 20 things a day on the to-do list and they get to the end of the day and they're like, 
either didn't cross off any of them or I crossed off like two super low impact ones that I wasn't even really caring about that much. And so definitely listing the most important thing, it goes back to, there's also, I don't know the exact principle, but it's like the 80-20. Yeah. That 20% produces 80% of the results. And so you have to figure out what that 20% is. And so in your case, it's the highest impact items. Instead of 80%, which is only produces 20% of the results. Yeah, there's a guy um, that I met named Scott Hanselman. You are in like Microsoft culture, dev culture, you might know him. But he told me that, especially for creating content, if you're somebody like us that creates content, he'll literally create lists and lists and lists of ideas as they pop into his head. But only like once a week, he'll move over three things from that list. Um, so the list is basically never ending, but he'll only pick three things to finish that week when it comes to content. And I thought that was super smart. Yeah. Because you don't get overwhelmed. For sure. So I think like the major thing to summarize in this video, which is like, have your goals for the new year. Take the time to think through them, but really, really narrow them down. You're not going to be able to do everything. Really think about it as if you could only pick. You were forced to only pick three, what would they be? And that's kind of the way you have to go into it. Yep. I just did it two nights ago. I actually only got to 18, but I'm like, that's kind of good enough. That's a lot still. <laughs> but I mean, don't force yourself to write 25. If you only get to 10, then hey, it's you only get to 10. No, try to, no, try to think up, try to think at least more. You'll be surprised at what you, like what you actually want to accomplish. Because I talked to somebody yesterday, and they're like, oh, I can only think of three things. And I'm like, no, sit down and actually think about it. Like, pick apart. Relationships, bit, yeah. personal career, personal development. There's a lot of categories. Religion, maybe. Maybe you're religious in some aspects, how you want to improve on that side. And you can pick, like, one from each of those categories. Yeah. Make it easy. You know? <laughs> maybe you have some health goals, like myself. Oh, sure. Health, fitness. fitness. All that type of stuff. So anyways, those are our thoughts. Um, like I said, I'll link to the Warren Buffett article so you guys can read it yourself. And maybe that 80-20 rule, that's really important as yeah. well. I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but that's a really important principle to understand. It's called the 80-20 rule. It's called the 80-20 rule. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, you guys, hope you like this video. Uh, let us know in the comments what you thought or if this is something that you're going to try or maybe you already do try it. Or even tell us one of your goals if you want like accountability for it. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be fun. Alright you guys, we hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Boop, boop. If you didn't, of course, subscribe to our channel below. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.